Hi students, welcome to MCQ series of Geography. Today we are going to discuss about the topic Topographical Maps. The first question, give the four figure grid reference of the perennial lined well. So here you are being able to see the symbol of the perennial lined well. When we say the four figure grid reference, so we need to take the first two numbers that is of the Eastings. Then second, we need to take the Northings number. We need to take the northing. So these are the northing stem. Now here, the perennial line well that is coming under the easting that is under the number three nine and the northing stem that is two two. So your answer for the four figure grid reference of the perennial line well that is three nine two two. Let us move to the second question. The next question. Name the settlement pattern in grid square 3, 9, 2, 3. So the eastings 3, 9 and the northings that you have that is of 2, 3. So that means this area that is been coming under 3, 9, 2, 3. So what type of a settlement pattern that is being seen here? You can see the houses that are being far from each other. So we call this type of pattern as a dispersed or scattered settlement. Question number three. What is the main occupation of the people living in 3922? Occupation of the people living in 3922. So we are being able to see green wash or green color so green color it represents that is of forest regions so the occupation of the people that is forest question number four what is the general direction of the river indicated in the map general direction that means the flow of the river two easy ways that i will tell you to find out about the general direction or the flow of the river First, you see whether is there any arrow mark that is given in the river. So, to which direction the arrow mark that is be moving, that will be the direction of the flow of the river. Here we are being able to see it is moving or flowing towards to the southwest direction. Second thing, the arrow mark is not given. Then you refer to the spot heights that are being given in the map to which direction the value of the spot height is being decreasing that will be the direction of the flow of the river here again we can see the decreasing number of spot height that is towards to south west direction so the flow of the river or the general direction of the river that is to south west direction let us move to question number five what do the blank curved lines along the banks of the river indicate? We are being able to see the blank curved lines that are being given here along the banks of the river. So these are the broken ground. Next question. What is the direction of Nimbora from Siru? So when you get the direction of places, please remember these two words that is of and from. So wherever the word from is there, you need to draw your north line here. Okay, draw your north line and from here you are being able to join the lines. So here you are being able to understand that it is to the south as well as to west direction. So the direction of Nimbora from Sirori is to the southwest direction. Question number seven. Which drainage pattern is seen in 3922? So here the drainage pattern that you are being able to see. It looks like the roots of a tree or of like the vein of the leaf. So it's been easy for you to understand this type of pattern. We call it as dendritic pattern. Question number eight. Name two man-made features in the grid square 382. 3822. You have to find out two man-made features. Man-made features means things that have been made constructed or made by human beings. So which are the man-made features that you are being able to see here? Yes. One is you are being able to see here that is of the settlement you can see you are being able to see the power line you can see the metal road that you are being able to see as well as the perennial line road. 
So the two man-made features that are being given, along with the options that are being given, you are being able to get the answer as power line and the metal pole. The next question, question number nine, which is the most important town in the above image? Most important town. So here, first thing you see the area that is being used according to the houses. The more area that is being used by this settlement that is of the town that is Sirundi. Next, you see about the facilities that are being there. Whichever town or the settlement that has the maximum amount of facilities, automatically that will be the most important town or the settlement. So here we are being able to see the symbol of a veterinary hospital. We are also being able to see the metal roads that are being connecting towards the other settlements. So we are being able to conclude that Sirori is the most important settlement. Question number 10. On which bank of the river is the settlement Chekra situated? So here that you have the settlement Chekra. So on which bank of the river? So here again, in order to find out the bank of the river, you feel yourself that you have been standing in a river along with the direction of the flow of water. Okay, along with the direction of the flow of water. And since the river that is been flowing towards to the southwest direction, you are also standing in this same direction. And your right side will be your right bank and your left side left bank. So here the settlement Chekra is situated with the right bank of the Question number 11. What is the black vertical line between 3, 9 and 4, 0? You are being able to see the black vertical line that is being drawn over here. Okay. So what is this black vertical line? It is being represented. This is a line of longitude. Question number 12. What is the four-figure grid reference of the time? Already we had a question about the four-figure grid reference. So here it's easy. First you take the number of the east hills, then you take the number of the north hills. So your answer is 4024. Question number 13. What is spot height 287 in 3822 indicator? So what is meant by the spot height? Spot heights, remember, it is the relative height of a particular place that is being shown on the map. So it is always measured in meters. So it means that spot height of 287 meters from mean sea level. Question number 40, what is the main occupation of the people living in the area shown on the map? We are being able to see mostly that is being covered by yellow wash or yellow color. So yellow color that means the people are being engaged in agriculture. Question number 15. What is the blue line in the Sipu River indicates? We are being able to see the blue line that is so what does it represent or it indicates? This indicates the perennial water channel. The last question. What does 3R in 3822 indicate? We are being able to see the symbol of a perennial lined well here and 3R that is being given. This shows the relative depth of the well that is 3 meters. The students, if it is been showed against any tank with an embankment, if an embankment that is 3R, if it is been written, then it will be the relative height of the tank. Okay, so if the embankment that is being given, then it will be the height. Now for the well, it is the depth of the well. So here, the relative depth of the well, that is 3 meters. Thank you students. Thank you for learning a lot. Thank you and have a nice day.